Welcome to Class 3, Science Episode 1, Part 1. Join me as I explore the planets of the solar system. So are you ready to explore? Let's start. So what is the solar system? The sun and all of the smaller objects that move around it together form the solar system. The sun is at the center of the solar system. It is also the largest member of the solar system. This is the solar system. As you can see in this picture, the sun is surrounded by eight major planets. Apart from the sun, these planets are the most important members of the solar system. Now let's know the names of those eight planets. The first one is Mercury. Then there's Venus. Then of course, our very own Earth. Then we have Mars. Followed by Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus and Neptune. Now let's have a closer look at the planets. The planets Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are closer to the Sun and are rocky planets. These planets are made up of rocks and metals and have solid surfaces. They are also known as terrestrial planets. Now let's have a look at the remaining four planets. The planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are farther away from the Sun. These planets are composed mostly of gases such as hydrogen and helium with a relatively small rocky core. They are also known as gas giants. Now that we explore the Sun and the planets, Let's have a quick look at the other members of the solar system. This is the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is located roughly between the orbits of the planets Jupiter and Mars. It contains several solid irregularly shaped asteroids. And these asteroids are of many different sizes but are much smaller than the planets. Now moving on to the natural satellites, which are also equally important members of the solar system. So what is a natural satellite? An astronomical body that orbits a planet is known as a natural satellite. Natural satellites are also called moons. Different planets have different number of natural satellites or moons. For example, Mercury and Venus do not have any moons. Whereas Earth has only one moon. And believe it or not, Saturn has 82 moons. And that brings us to the end of our exploration for today. However, my exploration continues in part 2 of this series. You can find the link in the description box below. 
I hope you'll check that video and join me on my next adventure as well. Bye bye for now. See you soon. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Peach Peanut Poppy.